Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain data types in R programming language. So in R, actually objects are assigned to variables. So there is no fixed data type associated with variables. So it depends on what type of object we are assigning. And uh, it's not fixed. Like uh, initially, we can assign an object of uh, Boolean or uh, which is actually in R known as logical. And later we can assign a character object. So here uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the basic data types. So, uh, so here, uh, let me show you how to assign a value to a variable. So this is the assignment operator in R. You can also use equal sign, but in some situation that sign will not work. So first value we are going to assign is the logical value. So these value can be true or these value can be false. So this hash is actually for comment. So this part will be considered as comment. Now let's say I am assigning a numeric value. So in R, whatever number you will write, that number automatically will be treated as numeric. If you write a real number or this number looks like integer, but this will be treated as numeric. And uh, so now the thing is that how we are going to use integer. In case of integer, you need to write L at the end of value. Uh, in R, we also have complex numbers. So this is the complex data type. And uh, in R, we don't have data types for string and character separate or different. So in R, uh, character and string, both data types actually comes under character. So uh, I'm going to show you, let's say I'm assigning a character to variable E and to the next character I'm assigning a, a string. Let's say welcome. So these two data type are actually same in this programming language. And the last one is the raw character. So it will convert actually your string, uh, your characters into raw format. So now let's see what are these data type. So in order to print a data type of a variable, you can use class. Okay. Print class B. Print class C. Print class D. Print class E. Print G. So if you can see, we are printing class. It means these are not uh, value. These are actually object. So in order to execute this one, select all these instruction and click on run. So if you can see, uh, the first one, first data type is logical. Second one, numeric, and the third one is integer. So because we have uh, inserted L at the end of value, then we are having complex. We are having character for uh, A, and we are having character for this string as well. So there are no different data type for character and string. And the last one is the, if you can see, this is the raw data type. And uh, let's see what will it will print if we print G. So our cursor is in this line. So when we click on run, only this line will be executed. So it will print actually ASCII value of the every character we are having in our string. So these are some basic, uh, we can say, atomic vac vector data types. These are actually used in vector, list, array matrix, which we will see in the next tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.